اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ کلاس نائنتھ سبجیکٹ میتھمیٹکس نیم آف دا چیپٹر از لائنز ان اینگلز ٹاپک از ریلیشن بٹوین اینگلز وی ہیو آلسو ڈس Uh, already discussed the two relations between angles that was linear pair of angles and vertically opposite angles these relations are six in number we have discussed in lecture file linear linear pair of very uh, angles and vertically opposite angles now In today's lecture, we will discuss about the remaining uh, relations of angles. Let's take the relation of corresponding angles and alternate interior angles. Okay, let us see what we do mean by corresponding angles. Which angles are corresponding angles and what is the relation between these corresponding angles? First, we will see... Which angles are corresponding angles? If we see this transversal, this transversal, on the left of this transversal, on the left of this transversal, on external side, there is angle 1. Angle 1 is on the left of this transversal and it is the external angle. After this angle 1, we have angle 4 adjacent to it we have to leave out this angle 4 and take angle 5 this is an internal angle interior angle on the same side of the transversal angle 1 is on the left of the transversal angle 5 is also on the left of the transversal but this is an exterior angle and this is an interior angle angle 4 was also an interior angle but it is an adjacent angle so we will take angle 1 that is an external angle and angle 5 which is an interior angle but both these angles are on the same side of the transversal that is left side of the transversal so we have angle 1 and angle 5 these are corresponding pair of corresponding angles similarly we have angle 2 and angle 6 because angle 2 is an external angle angle 6 is an interior angle and these two angles are on the same side of the transversal that is these angles are on the right side of the transversal right side of the transversal one is external and another one is interior although angle 3 was also interior but it is an adjacent angle we have to leave out this adjacent angle angle 2 and angle 6 angle 2 and angle 6 these are a pair this form is a pair of corresponding angle we have also angle 4 and angle 8 4 is an interior angle and angle 8 is an exterior angle and both are on the same side of the transversal that is on the left side of the transversal angle 4 is on the left side of the transversal angle 8 is on the left side of the transversal angle 8 is an external angle and angle 4 is an interior angle all the angle 5 was all uh, was interior angle but it is adjacent to angle 8 we have to leave out this angle 5 and we will take angle 8 and angle 4 that means angle 4 and angle 8 forms another pair of corresponding angle angle 4 and angle 8 angle 4 and angle 8 and similarly we have angle 3 and angle 7 These are pair of corresponding angles. There are four pairs of corresponding angles. And what is the relation between them? Yes, relation is angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. 6. Angle 4 is equal to angle 8. Angle 3 is equal to angle 7. 
3 is equal to angle 7. Now why are these angles equal? Why is angle 1 equal to angle 5? And angle 2 is equal to angle 6. These angles are equal only when the intersected line is. These two lines are intersected lines. Suppose this is line L, this is line M. When these two lines are parallel, corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal angle 1 is called angle 5, angle 2 is called angle 6, angle 4 is called angle 8, angle 3 is called angle 7. When these two lines are parallel. If these two lines are not parallel, corresponding angles will not be equal. Angle 1 and angle 5 will be corresponding angle, but these angles will not be equal. Okay. Now let's talk about alternate interior angles alternate interior angles interior angles interior angle is angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 these are the four interior angles angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 these are let's encircle them these are interior angles these are interior angles but we need alternate interior angles that means if we take one of the interior angles as angle 4 we will not take the alternate it is alternate angle as angle 5 no we will not take the alternate interior angle for angle angle 4 as angle 3 because these are adjacent angle 4 and angle 3 are adjacent Angle 4 and angle 5 are on, are on the same side of the transversal, on the left side of the transversal. Angle 4 and angle 3 are adjacent angles, so we are going to take angle 4 and angle 6. Angle 4 is on the left side of the transversal, and angle 6 is on the right side of the transversal. So we can call them as alternate interior angles. So angle 4 and angle 6. These are alternate interior angles. Similarly, angle 3 and angle 5. 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. And these uh, angle, uh, alternate interior angles are equal also. That means angle 4 is equal to angle 6. Angle 4 is equal to angle 6 and angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Now why are these alternate interior angles equal? Why are alternate interior angles equal? Why is angle 4 is equal to angle 6 and angle 3 is equal to angle 5? Why? Because lines are parallel. Line L, line M, this is line N. Line L and line M are parallel, therefore, angle 4 and angle 6, these are alternate interior angles, but these are equal. Angle 4 is equal to angle 6 and angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Okay. I will repeat again. Corresponding angles, angle 1 and angle 5, these are corresponding angles and these are equal because lines are parallel. Angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles and these are equal because lines are parallel intersected lines are parallel. Similarly angle 4 and angle 8 these are corresponding angles and these are also equal because line is up parallel. Angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles and these are also equal because intersected lines are parallel. Similar is the case with alternate interior angles. We have interior angles as angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6 and alternate means one is on the left side of the transversal and another is on the right side of the transversal. But angle 4 and angle 3 are not alternate interior angles. These are adjacent angles. So we are going to take a pair as angle 4 and angle 6. These are alternate interior angles. Angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. But these are also equal. That means angle 4 is called angle 6. And angle 3 is called angle 5. Because the intersected lines of parallel. If intersected lines are not parallel, then these angles are not equal. Alternate interior angles will not be equal. Angle 4 will not be equal to angle 6. 
angle 3 will not be angle equal to angle 5 if these two lines are not parallel. Since these two lines are parallel, then we can see angle 4 is equal to angle 6, angle 3 is equal to angle 5 because these are alternate interior angles. Okay, in next lecture that will be lecture number 7, we will talk about the remaining two relations that is alternate exterior angles and co interior angles. Thank you very much. Shukriya.